everybody. It's Ashley, um, obviously. <laughs> and um, I am here with my newest purchase, which is a... Well, actually, it's not purchased. My mom gave it to me, but... She, well, she didn't give it to me. She bought it for me. Let's just call it that, because I chose what I wanted. Ooh, yeah, it's squeaking now. Um, But I got this awesome car from eBay. And it's a little banged up, but that's okay, because... It's awesomeness makes up for it. So yeah, um, I'm going to start off by saying this is like one of a kind, basically, because um, I haven't been able to, because I found one of these, okay, just like it a few years ago, and I haven't been able to find one since until this one came along, and I looked all over for it, and I couldn't find it. So, I'm so glad I won this because I really love the cars with the back seats, as you guys know. So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a, I guess a tour, I guess I would say, I don't know, of my new car. So, I'm super psyched about that. So, first off, I'm going to start with the front. ES 2002, clearly it's a really old car. And the windshield wiper goes like, you know. It can come unhooked from the windshield and go back and forth. Right, realism. And what I love about this car is not only do the front doors open. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Front doors open. Trunk opens. And... The sliding doors open. Both of them open. To create an extremely realistic car. So here's a look through the trunk because I find that's a really realistic look. View and the seats can fold down like that. So, if you're Barbies are trying to put in a big giant piece of furniture, fold the seats down and shove the furniture in there, and then uh, you can drive away. And there's a nice steering wheel with no sticker, so can basically any type of person. The back is the ES2002 as well. And you look in. And there's the joystick in the front, and you've got a steering wheel, and you've got a little dashboard. Yeah, so then when you shut the door, it looks like this from the inside. And then you, when you shut the sliding door, see this little thingy, and then this box. So you just pull the door and push in for it to close like a real minivan door. So I'm going to shut the trunk and I'm going to open this door. You pull out to open and then you pull over. Like that. To open the door. And you put the seat back up. Since the kids are probably gonna be sitting back there. So push the seat back up. And then I want to show you what it looks like from like the side when the door shuts. So pull. And then you push. See how it goes in like that? It looks like this giant bar going across the door, but that's okay. I don't care. Functional. And this is what it looks like when it opens. See, this is how that bar works. It bends so that this part comes out a little bit and you pull the bar so that the door opens. So, yeah, it's an extremely functional car. Show it to you close up. I've never seen anything like this. This is basically one of a kind. And I am keeping this. If you haven't already noticed, I've booted the Beetle because this is Aria's new car. Ta-da! Aria got a new car. So, 
probably gonna have to do an updated all my do all my dolls cars video because clearly this is a new car and the cars have changed clearly because that's ours car and that's not ours car anymore and considering Spencer's car sitting right there meaning Spencer got a new car and Spencer is using the blue minivan now so yeah Spencer and I have both got minivans and um it's actually really small it's actually really low to the ground, so if I'm gonna bring, so if I was to bring the SUV over, so there's a comparison to the Ford. It's a little. Let me move this back. There we go. It's clearly a bit longer than the Ford. Um, and then clearly there's more functionality since that door and the gas door opens, and but all the trunk, the trunk and all the doors open for this. One. And then if I was to bring in a little buggy to compare a smaller car, it isn't that high. And it isn't that long. Considering that's the length of the buggy and that's the remaining from the new minivan. And then if we bring in Allison's mumbo jumbo hummer. I'm doing like a giant comparison with like all my cars. Then this looks still looks really small because Allison's Hummer is really big. Actually, it's really gigantic. It's like huge. Giant windshield. That's how much extra is left over between the two cars. And then in terms of my other gigantic car, which is Spencey's new car. I don't know why I love calling her Spency. <laughs> Spency, Spence, Spencer. So many nicknames for Spencer. I don't know. I have a bunch of pet names for her. Anyway, um, so here we go. Clearly, that one is way taller than that one. As is Allison's big giant Hummer with diamonds all over it. Totally Allison. Anyway, <laughs> um, so it's also... By far, I think it has the biggest leeway, considering there was a third row, and then there's only two rows here. And in terms of minivan comparison, only one door opens, whereas all the doors open in this one. I'm not going to go into great detail with all the opening again, but it's really awesome, and it has a little rack on top. Um, if I ever wanted to put something on top, like a piece of furniture. Or a shoulder, like this. There you go. Or his hair clip is right there on the shoulder. <laughs> so she's ready to go, except this is kind of not fitting right, but that's okay, because she can go that way. There you go. That one's fitting pretty good right there, and then you can just drive, you know. The, except the fact it's really squeaky. It's awesome. So, really amazing deal on that. Love this car. Super, super awesome, and if you have one, or you have gotten your hands on one in the past, or you used to have one, pretty awesome car. I am in love with it, and I recommend it highly. Very, very, very highly. Except I feel like I have to be really careful with the sliding door. I'm going to be really apprehensive when, they're, when the little kids in my neighborhood want to play with it. They're going to be like, uh, n no, you're not going to. Why not? Because it's one of a kind and you're not going to break it. All right, that says it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching my awesome minivan thing. My mom almost broke it trying to open the door. She was trying to open it. She was trying to open it like this. She's like, why is it not opening? I'm like, because it's a minivan door. You slide it. She's like, oh. And I was like, yeah. Hence why the handle's right here and not here. And she's like, oh, okay. I get it now. So, yeah. Gotta be careful with it because it's kind of fragile. And this does not open. That's the only thing that does not open the whole car. But I don't care about the gas nozzle as long as... All these doors open. I mean, this is awesome. It really is awesome. 
only downside I have to say about it so far is I couldn't seem to fit a ten into here. And I'd actually wanted to make this shorter, but I cut then my first one that I made, but literally I can't do that because this car is just too dang awesome. Um Okay, so you can get his legs in perfectly. The legs are not that hard. But then when it comes to the head, I don't want to break his neck. So you kind of have to be... So then when you kind of go like this, you're like, oh, okay. That's kind of not going to work. You can't go any further that way, so that's not going to work. It, it, you just have to, like, work it. And I have not worked it, figured out the right way to work it yet. And I guess what I... I haven't, I have not tried to put it in the driver's seat because it's going to be even more difficult to wheel. So it's probably like a Bratz or Moxie car or something because clearly Ken's head does not want to. Like I can get him all the way back there and then I can get him in. I can get his whole body in. But then when I try to turn him around, he doesn't want to turn around and his pants keep falling off. So bear with me. Um, so no matter what I do, it seems that I can't get... Actually, this is the closest I've been to getting him in the car, um, in the seat. Yeah, um, now he's kind of stuck. Yeah, so Ken kind of can't fit. <laughs> Other than that, it's, it's a great car. I think if Arya is planning on keeping this car, she's going to have to. If they're ever going on a family road trip, they're going to have to use the SUV. So, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, Connor, who's not growing that size yet. Anyway, future Connor. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'm going to slide this shut. And I hope that you guys enjoyed my detailed review of this car. It does not have a name other than ES2002 minivan. I can't say anything else because oh wait, except it says Jeffrey Inc. Wait. Come on. Lucas, good job. No. Ah. Jeffrey Inc. made in China. Thank you very much iPhone for finally cooperating with me and there's the thing with the joystick I'd say. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my little, actually big, um, review and comparison between my new video and 2002 Microbus, 2002 Ford Escape, and 2012, I think, to current, gosh, it needs the, um, extendable limousine. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait. I'm missing a car. Oh, well. A pink... This pink buggy. This pink Cali buggy thing. It's Barbie. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, my five-way comparison.